Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Audio Man. I'm back with another tip. Today what I'm going to do is a transitional effect, which is the classic bass bomb, which you hear in a lot of um, old school tracks, but it sort of can be used in any given moment, um, depending on how you feel. Um, you can use samples, but um, I'm just going to sort of go through how we can create one. A um, couple of points just before we start. Um, a bass drop. Um, you need to make sure when you're creating it, it's in the same key of the track. So what we're going to do, we're going to play the track and determine the key of, of the song. Well, it would help if we actually get an operator so we can use the patch. So we're just going to drag one of them. Right, it sounds to me like it's in C sharp, so C sharp. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw in. There's our bass drop, but as you can see, it sounds pretty not like a bass bar. So now back to the operator. We're only going to be using one oscillator, which is this one. Um, we're going to move the octave down by one. So it gives us a lower tone. And then we're going to turn the pitch envelope on. So it gives it that sort of snap. And then we're going to mess about with the attack, decay. And then we're going to change some of these values just here. We move this down twenty four. The wrong one, I'm sorry. The so sustain down by twenty four. This peak can go up by 12. It doesn't have to, you can play around with these and see what works for you. And then we're going to put a filter on. Get rid of, get rid of that top end. And then the last thing what we're going to do, we're going to put an EQ. And we're just going to roll off some of the low end. And now we're going to play the track. Excellent. We could do with a bit of turning up. You notice any clicks, what you want to do is mess about with the release. There you go. Well, I hope you can um, use this in your productions. Um, I'll be back in another tutorial very soon. Like, subscribe to the channel and enjoy the rest of your day.